Craig, a question that I ask you on so many occasions following the final whistle. What are the emotions going through your mind at this moment in time? Yeah, extremely proud. I think that's the that's the overriding emotion at this moment in time. Extremely proud. You know, we've come here to a, a top team. You know, you you're not talking about second tier teams. You're talking about a established Serie A team. You know, finishing the top half of the table, getting to Europe every year, two losing finalists in the last couple of years. You know, so and we've come in. Um, we, we, we've we've showed some great determination, some great organisation, great team ethic, great togetherness, you know, and the, the team have just proved that how good of a team we really are. And if you sacrifice your individual, you know, your individual performance for the for the good of the group, then then this is what happens. It's amazing. You, you never give up and you, 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 you know, you never throw the towel in in, in performances like this happen. And as you so often say in our press conferences, ahead of a game, that's the most difficult job that you have to choose yeah. a starting eleven. Yeah. With such an important fixture tonight yeah. that everyone wanted to play in, yeah. did that make it even more difficult? Yeah, it, of course it did. Yes, but but we've we've got six players coming back from a six to eight week out injury. You know, so you come to somewhere like this, you know, and it's it's not it's not a game to put people back in that have played. 15 minutes or 45 minutes it's you know it's a, it's, a, it's a game where we had to be you know honest from the first whistle and the, and the boys and the staff and myself have have learned a hell of a lot from Ferenc Farris away 30 minutes in the game the game was gone from where we've got 30 minutes left of the game and we're still well and truly in the game tonight so in in arguably Fiorentina are a better team than Ferenc Farris so that's how far and that's how much the boys have took in and how how well they've performed tonight and although the opposition did dominate as far yeah. as possession was concerned, yeah. when you went into the break at half time, what did you say to the players exactly? Yeah, well done, because that was the game plan. You know, the game plan was to give up the, you know, give up the ball, give up territory, save our energy, be in a good shape, be patient. You know, and yes, they, they, they did. But I think the first half they only had two shots on target. So you know, whatever possession it was, you know, it doesn't really matter when you only have two shots on target. So that was the game plan. If we, if we had opened up. And, and went toe to toe for them. We've got to understand that, you know, they're, they're, they're better than us. You know, they are. And they've got internationals all over all over the pitch. And then that's the starting 11. Then they bring the three boys on with 70 minutes left at nil nil. And, you know, Moise Keane, top, top player. You know, Goodmanson, who was very, very good tonight, very sharp. And, and Dodo, who we were so glad they didn't start the game. But to for them to have to come on, it's to, to for them to win the game, then the boys have done something right tonight. And come the final whistle again, message to the players. Yeah, well done. Really, extremely proud. Extremely proud. How could you not be? You know, they give everything. They give everything in the whole. You know, the whole game. You know, we'll we'll, we'll look strong. We'll look fit. We didn't die a death the last 10, 15 minutes. And we've seen you've seen teams before, haven't you? That they get one or two, and all of a sudden it's six nil with 15, 20 minutes left. No, the boys stuck together and. As we said, you know, and my final message before I went out tonight was it's amazing, you know, the power of sticking together and not giving up. You, you, you never, you're never going to get beat. Yes, the result says we got beat, but we didn't get beat as a, as a team because no one gave up at any stage in that game. And Fiorentina were a pot one side, so you could argue yeah. that we've got the most difficult game out of the yeah. way. So five very big fixtures on the immediate horizon. Yeah, massive, you know, none bigger than Britain Ferry on Sunday. You know, we talk about that and let's not get ahead of ourselves because, you know, we need to make sure our, our mentality is right and, and we, we go into that game with the right mentality. But obviously, with the other conference games, then, you know, we've got an opportunity then now to get the biggest and best. You know, you don't get much bigger than the losing finalists to play on your first, your debut in the league st group stage of conference and the boys um, should hold their heads up really high today. Everyone involved in the club should be very proud because we proved today that we deserve to be where we are.